Hello, welcome to Amogosha IS Academy. We'll have a discussion on the Ramsar sites. It's a topic of GS3. As we are aware about the Ramsar sites, India has the 85 Ramsar sites. Okay, now the three have been added into the list of India. The context here is three new Ramsar sites have been added in the list of India. So, Nanjrayan Bur Sanctuary and the Kajuvali Bur Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu and the Tava Reservoir in Madhya Pradesh has been added into the list of Ramsar sites of India. We will be discussing the significance of Ramsar sites in India. As per the Ramsar Convention, they are defined as the areas which consist of marsh, fen, petland or water. Whether they are natural or artificial, permanent or temporary, with the water that is static or flowing, fresh or salt or blackish, whatever it is. So, and meanwhile, it includes the area of marine water, the depth of which at low tide does not exceed the 6 meters. And it includes all the uh, lakes, rivers, <coughs> underground aquifers, swamp, marsh and other major water bodies. Okay, therefore, uh, India has a lot of wetland. About 4.6 of India, India's land is considered as a wetland. There are 80, as I told you, there are 85 sites are Ramsar sites in India. Three has been added. These are Nanjrayan Bird Century, Kajuvali Bird Century of Tam uh, Tamil Nadu and Tava Reservoir of Madhya Pradesh. Okay, now we'll be having a quick review on the importance of Ramsar site. See, the first thing is here, they work as a natural sponges. Means, during the extreme drought or extreme flood, they will uh, conserve the water and they release it later. So, they work as a natural sponges and they ensure the water quality. It is Purified means they act as a kidney of earth, like kidney of human body. See how the kidney of a human body is purifying the blood. Meanwhile, the Ramsar sites are purifying the water quality of a earth. See, this is a very interesting uh, fact. <coughs> they conserve the biodiversity. They help in the groundwater recharge and discharge. They regulate the local climate. And most important factor here is they also help in boosting the economy because fishing, timber, tourism and recreation. See, however, the Ramsar sites are playing a very important role in the uh, climate and in the economy on the biodiversity. Meanwhile, they are facing a various threat. See, unsustainable development. As per some report, 87% of wetland has been lost in 300 years because of housing, industry, agriculture. Means as I, uh, it means if because of the developmental activities. See, because of the pollution, 80% of waste water released unthreatened for the Ramsar um, sites. Invasive species is affecting the Ramsar sites and there is, if there is a climate change, means sudden climate change, means the way, the pattern, how the rain is falling. So the temperature of that particular area is also affecting, it's a threat for the Ramsar site. See the encroachment of the urban wetlands. As per the International South Asia's report, 30% of the Indian wetland has been lost until now. Okay, now we'll be having a quick review on the conservation measures. First is the wetland conservation and the management rules of 2017. According to this, no conservation for non-wetland users. Means we are not conserving any land for the use of the development like industry, agri or for housing. And under this rule of 2017, each state should have the wetland authority to conserve and the, to manage the wetlands. Okay. Next comes the National Wetland Inventory and Assessment. It has been launched by the ISRO. ISRO is managing this 
activity by the remote sensing satellite it's a very important factor next comes the national plan for conservation of aquatic system this plan is in the merge of the two programs one is the national lake conservation plan second is the wetland conservation program this focus it includes both the wetland as well as the lake and the more main focus of this national plan is to avoid the overlap of administrative function next comes the center for the wetland conservation and the management here it is mainly focusing on uh, having of uh, research needs and filling the no uh, sorry uh, gap of the knowledge in the conservation and management of wetland means it's mainly focusing on the research need and filling the gaps of the knowledge of conservation and management wetland the last one comes the ramsar convention it is a intergovernmental treaty it mainly focuses on the framework for national action and the international cooperation see it is focusing on the national action and the international cooperation okay it is meant for the conservation and wise use of a wetland and their resources see these are the conservation uh, measures of the ramsar sites so definitely it's a booming topic for the prelims as well as the mains thank you